Pisces, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the week going from the 5th through to the 11th of December. Uh, how you do it? Yeah, you're, you are slowly, uh, I say slowly, you are drifting into your autumn period. So it, keep that in mind when you're doing things and when you're, you know, listening to these readings. Uh, some people need more healing than others, more recuperation time, more organization and stuff like that. But this is gradually moving into your sort of autumn period. It depends on your birthday. Uh, you'll know that a lot more in the Astro Flat where we're going to have loads more videos coming out for you. Let's just see how what's going on with your energy, uh, your overall energy for the week. It's very strong. It's like a fiery energy. It's um, it's like a half that's been roaring fire in it. And now you've got some lovely embers and you just need to feed those embers slowly but surely. Um, but there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of passion as well going in for you here at the moment. And you do have that fire coming in through you there. So, yeah, I think this is, so if you imagine you're sitting in front of a fire, what do you do? You let your mind go. You let your work out things. You, you, you realise what you want to get passionate about in life. And that's what you're moving into. This is what I was talking about, your autumn period. So it's realising, helping you to realise your evident path and what really sort of sits with you. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship side. Here's the the um, uh, karmic message. A bit of me time. You love the people that are around you and um, I'm sure they love you as well. Um, and But there's... Don't, don't don't pull yourself so thin this week. I think this week here is a good week for you to just have a breather for you. Um, it, I think it's all about you this week. Yeah, I think... Okay, so the Five of Pentacles, that can be a really horrible card, really, if you're talking about money. But we're not. We're talking about relationships on here. And I think this is where they're saying you need, you need to be able to pull yourself out of the situation. Uh, sometimes when someone comes in, you're drinking a cup of tea, you buy that nice fireplace and they sort of say, hey, look, um, do you know, can we just talk about, I just need to sort something out. And sometimes you just need to sort of say, yeah, sure, no problem. It'd be nice to sort that out. Just need, just need another, just need 20 minutes just sitting by the fire drinking a cup of tea. Everybody needs it. And don't be afraid to say it. People who love you, they will understand totally around you. You know, that sort of thing. It's not majorly pulling out. It's just giving yourself enough gas to actually enjoy life. Let's just see how the universe is sort of um, influencing that karmic message. They're providing that wood. They're almost giving you um, enough on your plate for you to choose the volume that you want to be engaged with the world around you. Then it's up to you. Okay, so they're really sort of supporting you with a lot of, yeah, they're bringing this wood. They're bringing those healthy boundaries realizing what your limit is you are on this journey you're going on this journey uh there is um coming up uh in the next sort of uh two months it's going to be a real retrospective for the year which is a normal thing for the uh for the future but it's all about falling in love with life and in order to fall in love with life it has to work for everybody you know i used to do organic produce fresh produce um and i worked on the principle that everybody knew what everybody was charging you know, the farmer knew what the, you know, the, the wholesaler was getting and what price it was being sold. So did the, you know, the, um, my job and so did the transporter and everything like that. And everybody knew because if it didn't work for one person, then the whole thing doesn't work. And this is where you've got to realise. And I think that's what the universe is trying to help you with. So within your relationships, there does need to be a little bit of give and take. And maybe you've been giving a lot. And maybe you need a little bit of me time sort of thing. Let's see how the guys are influencing this karmic message. You've got it all. So I got a little bit distracted. You've got it all. You've got everything. They seem to be coming in with like like fleeces in order to keep you warm, to do that healing process, to um, you know make you feel absolute strength. Yeah, and I said fleeces. Look at that. There's a lamb on there for crying out loud. You know, uh, it's. It's the golden fleece. So Aries is bringing this into you, this warmth into you. 
um, and it's helping uh, with Mars and Earth being in alignment uh, this weekend in the cult of the sun. So that's going to help you feel like you've got security, that you've got support around you within within your guides and etc., which is going to help you to sort of be much more warm and, 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 and at ease with your relationships that are around you. Let's just see how the guides are influencing the conversation that is within you. Don't be so hard on your heart. Don't be so, um, yeah, don't be so hard on your heart. Or hard on you, you know. Take a bit of pressure off uh, your heart and your emotions that come from there. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think if this is it, you know, when, when we're in love with someone else, it's, it's a two-way street. It, I describe love, it's not something that I can give you or I can receive from someone. It's a case of, it's like a, it's like a river that, that runs constantly and we can swim in that river together and, you know, we can drink the water from that river together, but at no point can I give you that river and no point can I create that river. That river exists, love will always exist. And that is one of the understandings that you need to know about love. And I think this is where, it, this week here, would be good to put that into practice of a little bit of me time. And I think it's going to make you much more cuddly, snuggly with your partner or with your family or, um, you know, with, or with your friends. Just being, a, you know, ease, basically. Let's just see what's going on on the financial sort of side of life. There, you have crested a wave recently uh, in regards to your work and now you should be sort of aquaplaning, sort of like getting onto an even keel here. Uh, and here it's, the karmic message here is to understand how to survey in a way, to sort of purvey the area in which you're working. Yeah, it's happiness after difficulty. So it's taking you the difficulty to get there and you should realise that. And when you realise that, you're actually going to be happy to sort of kind of survey that things are working basically, around you, and they're working how it should be. So this could be within your job, your business, your projects, your personal projects, and stuff like that. Uh, so it is realising your state, realising how well you've done, basically. I think this is what the karmic message is. And the universe here is sort of saying, it's a learning process that never stops throughout life, and the universe wants to give you more. They really want to give you more, but they understand that it, things are done in layers. And they're waiting for you to just realise how well you've done for you in order to take that next step up. So um, you're giving a bit of, um, you know, you're making the universe work, which is really nice. Because when you do that, it's much clearer for the universe to uh, give you the choices that are possible. You know, uh, give you the, the possibilities in life according to what you are trying to manifest. Um, at some point, there is a choice needed to be made and it could be quite a difficult choice don't be blinded in your choice i don't think it's yet but i think it will be coming up over the next week two weeks something to keep an eye open on the future but the moment you're you're providing and work as well that's what the give and take is all about you're providing that good work for the universe let's just see what the um how your guides are trying to influence this karmic message When kids have a birthday party, you know, they run around, they do loads of different things and, you know, the parents having fun, but they're also surveying. They're also sort of kind of making sure that, you know, little Timmy or little Jane or whatever are not sort of smashing their heads against walls and stuff like that, you know, that they're, you know, everything's going smoothly. And this is what the guides are doing. They're getting into the fun. They want it to go as free flowing as possible, but they're also yeah, they've got that background of expertise. They know what they're doing. They got it covered. They've got your back. They got your back covered here. Uh, in regards to work, it's it's bringing in that expertise in your life. Really nice. Let's just see how it's going on uh, with the uh, conversation that is within you. There's already ideas coming up here. So as you're as you're sitting there, kind of seeing how things are progressing, how you are uh, evolving uh, within you uh, in regards to your job, what you've done and how proud you should be of the good work you've done, you're going to start seeing little things kind of going, oh, there's an opportunity there, there's an opportunity there. And I would spend the week 
you know, within your job, your business or your project, just surveying and opening, opening yourself up to the new possibilities, a new cycle that is coming through. I think this is where you're, this is where you're going to, if you continue, keep doing this, you're really going to have an, an amazing year, 2023. It's all in the preparation. And that's what manifestation is all about. Let's just see what the overall outcome is for you. There's a combination of both sides, which is very euphoric. Um, and it's difficult to say, it's not possible to say if it's, so if you get like this world person kind of going, da da, and then you get the elements that are around it. Once you start playing with sort of auras and stuff like that, so you get elements that are around it, and these elements, <laughs> just like just like on that card there, you know, you get the elements uh, that are in the four corners. <laughs> I didn't really notice that before. Uh, you get the elements that are all around it. So it's not just one element. So it's not just work. It's not just relationships. It's not just home life. It's not just personal projects, goals, and spiritual aspirations. It's all coming together like, but it's not quite here yet. But I think this is where the glimpses are going to come through. Yeah, of the Nine of Cups. Just a lot of things coming your way, I think. A lot of things coming your way. It's going to be very interesting how December rolls out and how it was according to your individual reading and uh, the collective reading. It'd be really nice to see. Um, so there you go, Pisces. Thank you very much for being here with us. Uh, your support is very much appreciated. We're going to have loads of videos coming out over Christmas. Uh, there's going to be a massive change on this uh, channel. I I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to love it because I'm already sort of getting excited about it, just talking about it. So that's all coming up. So you're going to want to subscribe and click that bell so you get the notifications for all the new videos and uh, new readings, etc. In the meantime, Pisces, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.